Okay, Libras. The overall energy of this reading is the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Deceitful energy. Beware. Watch out. Just kind of keep your eyes peeled for something deceitful that might be going on around you. You may even be aware of it right now, you know, as we speak. Uh, this is like <clears throat> lying, stealing, cheating, um, you know, taking and no giving. It can be any number of things. Um, but it's undesirable, okay? And this is a energy that you do not want around you. So let's find out why this Seven of Swords surrounds your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, the Empress. This is you. This is your being right here. This is a card for Libra. And this is up here in your highest energy, so this is you. Um, you're a very loving person. You're beautiful inside and out. You have um, a nature to you that is nurturing, uh, supportive, giving. You're very thoughtful and generous. Um, I could just go on and on. All the lovely qual all these lovely qualities that uh, many people should have that don't. <laughs> you possess a lot of those qualities. And when you're in your power, male or female, you are the empress. Okay? Beautiful qualities. If you're a parent, you're a good and loving parent. Next to the empress is the four of pentacles. So this is like not being able to move forward, not being able to move backward or down or up or anywhere. You're just kind of stuck. There might be a financial uh, insecurity of some sort that keeps you stuck. But um, the way I'm looking at this is it, it's right above the Seven of Swords, which is a surrounding energy. And so I'm thinking that whatever this deceitful energy is, is keeping you stuck. So, you know, you know more than I do. I will tell you everything I can find with this reading. And you can sort it out. So, when you're in your power, you're the empress, male or female. You have lovely qualities about you. There is some sort of deceitful behavior around you, which is keeping you stuck. It's like keeping you in a place where you can't move forward. It's right next to temperance, the four of pentacles. Now, temperance is the card for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius might be strong in your chart or strong around this reading. But Sagittarius, or temperance here, is your guardian angels and spirit guides. They are working very hard, mixing that potion back and forth, back and forth, to try to get you balanced. So you have one foot in the emotional side and one foot on the land. They want both your feet grounded. They want your, both your feet on the land. So I feel like that you've just kind of been stuck in this energy that's been around you of some sort of deceitfulness. It can be rumors too, but it, there's so many different things it can be at this point of the reading um, that temperance, your guardian angels and spirit guides are trying to help you uh, become rebalanced, to get rebalanced. So under the Empress is a strength card. This is the card for Leo. Leo might be strong in your chart, might be strong around this reading, but it's about this infinity symbol. This is the, the symbol of knowing and intuition, and it's about courage and strength. It's about knowing what you need to do and finding the courage and the strength to do it, right under the empress. So this tells me, too, that temperance, your guardian angels and spirit guides, they know that you can solve whatever issue this is with this energy that surrounds this entire reading. This reading is not for everybody. This is a general reading. So if this uh, is resonating, it probably is your reading. If it's not resonate, resonating, it probably is not your reading. And I would check your moon signs because the moon is spectacular coming up here on the 26th and 27th. It's, it's a, called the pink full moon. Uh, it's very rare. And um, it's, it's spectacular. Things are changing. And um, so I think if this doesn't resonate, check your moon signs. And maybe check your moon signs anyway. 
you know, because um, there's, there's a, if you look it up, just look it up on oh, anywhere. So you can, YouTube will have a lot to say about it, uh, about this full pink moon that's coming up here on like Tuesday, I think. So it's either, it's probably going to be the day that I post Libra's readings that this full pink moon will be around. But the energy is going to be around the moon for, for a little while. So um, next to the Seven of Swords is the Queen of Cups. And the energy is about um, renewal. Okay, that's coming up. Next to the Seven of Swords and under Temperance, your guardian angels here is the Queen of Cups. So this is water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The moon is going to be in Scorpio, okay? So, um, you know, I just got done talking about that. <clears throat> but one of these signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, may be involved in this reading. This may be in your chart someplace, too. But um, this is your energy trying to peek in the windows. This is the only cup in the deck that has a lid on it. You're trying to peek in those windows to get answers to all these love questions you have. Cups are love. So you have a lot of questions about love. That's why you're throwing off balance. And this, this energy, the Seven of Swords, is what's throwing you off balance in love. So you have a lot of questions here. You need to get grounded. You need qu your questions answered. Um, but, you know, you have the strength card under the Empress, under your card. And this is telling me that you really do know what you have to do. And you will find the strength to do it, whatever that is. Under the strength card is the Three of Swords. Truth and clarity. Yeah. Um, there might be, now we have two. No, no, don't know yet. But it's getting a little closer to pointing to a third party or a third somebody or something that is part of this deceitful energy. Okay. Um, I, I see I see a broken heart here. Um, it's this energy. It's it's like it's it, like I said, it's not a good energy to have in yours. Um, it doesn't work for the Empress. Um, it really throws you off balance. And it causes you heartache. So, you know what you have to do. You're going to find the strength to do it. The Three of Swords is next to the Queen of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. This is you. This is under that Seven of Swords. The overall energy. This is reaching your hand out. You're speaking the truth and you are seeking the truth. Right next to that Three of Swords. Because it's tearing you up. Okay, inside. You have to have these answers. You're trying to look for answers with the Queen of Cups. And you're trying to look for answers with the Queen of Swords. And you're also speaking your truth. And this is through conversation. Not through trying to look at in these windows. Not through trying to figure it out yourself. You're, gonna, you're going to come right out with what it is that you need to know. The Queen of Swords has her hand out. And this is male or female too, by the way. Uh, the Queen of Swords has her hand out right towards the Ten of Pentacles. See, the, the Four of Pentacles is in your highest energy, being stuck, not, not really moving in any direction. It has to do with those Pentacles. It's just weighing you down. Well, the Ten of Pentacles, is a, that's about a commitment uh, between two people. There's pets. There's a child. Um, there's extended family. This is security, stability, groundedness in a relationship here. Now, this is, you know, what all this truth and clarity has to do with is your relationship with somebody. Uh, you really need to get to the bottom of what is going on. Let's find out what's go what else is happening. What else do you need to know here? It's a time, you know, this is a time coming up for changes. And, and it's also a time to try to keep balanced. Because um, with the moon, the moon the way it is, and I'm not a real, um, and I will admit it, you know, I'm not an astrologer. Uh, I have not studied uh, astrology. I read the tarot cards how I see them. But I do know this is a very special time coming up this week. 
and um, you need to be careful. Uh, you need to try to be patient and you need to try to be happy. So find whatever you can to laugh, okay? And that will help you through this period if you can, okay? So Libras, up here on your highest energy line, I have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate that you're involved with. Not only a soulmate, but also a best friend. Still not sure if there's a, actually a third party going on here. There's something deceitful going on. Um, but this is um, like when you look into each other's eyes. There's a special connection between the two of you with the, this Two of Cups. There is love between the two of you, okay? So no wonder you are upset, whatever is going on. No wonder you're trying to find answers. And no wonder, I think, you're just going to, like, confront. I mean, don't, don't do it in a, especially this week, don't do it in a um, confrontational manner. Just ask the questions you need to know the answers to. And, um, you know, kindly, kindly, you will still get your truth, okay? You'll still get your clarity. And it is about this relationship. Right next to the Two of Cups is the Page of Cups. There's a fish in that cup, isn't there? Hmm. This is what you need to talk about, too. This is right next to the Two of Cups. You're wondering if they really have love for you. Or is this cup that they're, that they're um, cheering with you with, you know, where you're, you know, kind of like uh, coming together with these cups of love. Uh, does it have a fish in it? Because if it has a fish in it, there's not enough room for love. And that's part of your questions here. You want to know how much they really do love you. How they really feel about you. Um, so this is a card, one of the cards in the deck that could be for Pisces. So Pisces could be strong in your chart or strong around this reading. Next to the Page of Cups is a Ten of Cups. Look at all these cups on your top line up here. Ten of Cups. This is what it's all about. you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is what it's all about. And the Ten of Cups. This is union between two people with joy. Lots of love, rainbows, sunshine. This is, there's children playing. So we have a child here. Uh, the Empress can signify pregnancy or being a good parent. Um, there's children playing here. So, so far, there's three cards that I see that have children in them. I just like to point that out. But um, it is about the love. You are really wondering about the love. And it's because of this energy that is surrounding the entire reading. And yeah, you need to get it out in the open and talk about it. So we have the Queen of Pentacles next to the Queen of Cups. And under the Two of Cups, male or female, Queen of Pentacles. That's the second biggest pentacle in the deck. Now we're talking about pentacle security, stability, not being able to move forward or in any direction. At the, until you have this conversation, it looks like, until you know what direction to, to move in. This is Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn may be in your chart or around this reading. So Taurus is running strong too now in, your, in the moon. Scorpio and Taurus. So it's about the pentacle. Is there security here? Is, it, is this a stable and secure relationship? Or is it not? Because if it isn't, I think you just want, you need to know. Because you need to know what direction to move into. Because you've been stuck. Uh, not moving in any direction. Next to the Queen of Pentacles and, and under the Page of Cups is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's become a burden. You can't, you can't keep it in anymore. Okay. Whatever this behavior is, or this rumor is, or th whatever this Seven of Swords stands for with you has become a heavy burden. Well, this is the Ten of Wands, so there's no Eleven. So you will be able to start dropping those wands uh, with all this truth and clarity. And it has to do with all the confusion you have about the love. That's basically what this whole reading is about. You're very confused on the feelings of your from your soulmate on whether they feel if they have the same amount of love for you that you do for them because of this energy right here that's what makes you wonder this is confusion all these cups has something else in them just like
The page of cups has a fish in it. All these cups has something else. There's not enough room for love. So, you want to try to be sure that it's an actual cup that has lots of room for love. Okay? That they're not pretending that that's what it is. So, under the Queen of Pentacles here is a Nine of Pentacles. That's right next to the Ten of Pentacles. So, I have a Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> um, this is about being... Um, Secure and stable in yourself. And see, when you're in your full power, you are. Uh, you still are uh, secure and stable in, in yourself, in your being. Uh, but uh, you haven't been able to move because um, you have a soulmate that's involved now with your life. But you are self-confident, self-assured. You're grounded. This is you normally. This is who you are, right under the Queen of Pentacles. Um, if they can't be grounded with you, um, and they can't, they don't have a lot of the same qualities that you carry, then it, this relationship can't work out. So you really need to get your answers. This nine of pentacles is right next to the emperor. This is the card for Aries. Aries might be strong in your chart, might be strong around this reading, and it's under that burden. I think this is the other person's energy. I think they've been stubborn. I think they, you know, they've been holding you back. So you know, not getting off the throne. Uh, the emperor, this is a granite throne, like the heaviest throne there, out there. And um, this emperor just kind of likes to sit there and think things like, it's my way or the highway, I'm not going to change my mind, what I believe is what everybody should believe. It's those types of uh, energies. And it's only the people who are closest to the emperor that actually see that side of them, usually. Um, they're very well liked, very well respected by others, okay? They do like to be the leader. They do like things to be their idea. So, um, you're going to come out with this. Tell me the truth. Are we heading toward uh, a, a, a step in our relationship? Are we heading toward uh, commitment? Um, are we committed? Uh, is this relationship grounded? What are your feelings for me up here? It's like... Do you feel the same way about me that I feel about you? So, this emperor here is right next to the Ten of Swords. So you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords in your reading on each side of the Seven of Cups. It's painful to think that they don't love you as much as you love them. Okay, That they're being very stubborn, that they, they don't want to move this relationship any further. Um, so it, it, it is, it's, it, until you can get your clarity, okay, uh, from your, your partner, your, um, uh, best friend, your soulmate, your lover, until you get all that truth and clarity there, you will not know what direction to move in. I'm going to take out one more card for this reading, and it is the Eight of Swords. So what the Eight of Swords is saying is that you feel bound, okay, we already know that, you feel bound, you feel stuck, you can't see all the truth and clarity, but you're going to ask for it, so you, you, you're not stuck really, you're not really, you, you just feel this way in this relationship, because you don't know which way to move until you get your truth and clarity, so uh, the mouth is not bound, the feet are not bound, you can walk out of this situation and you can speak. You can ask for the truth. You can ask for help. You can ask for guidance. And you can also just walk right out of this situation. So, you know, temperance. Temperance is here trying to keep you grounded. And, um, you know, temperance wants you to have the things that, that will make you happy in life. Always. They're, they're your guardian angels and spirit guides. So, so, don't feel alone, don't feel trapped, you're surrounded by your guardian angels and spirit guides, and temperance is so close to this soulmate. Uh, I think what you're reading is all about right now is just getting the answers uh, that you need about some sort of deceitful energy that is around you that has to do with your soulmate, and you're going to get everything out in the open here so that you know what direction to move in uh, rather than just feeling trapped and feeling this 
three of swords type energy and this nine of swords type energy, um, you will get to the truth. 